This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, start at verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are a few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Verse 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and the daughters of music shall be brought low. I'm going to start off giving all praise, honor, and glory. Call hello, Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rachak, this with the film. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, told me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akin, right of four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Aqua, Thinny, Akim, out there listening and learning. Lord willing to edify and video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, looking like the other nations, but subscribing to the truth. To you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of GMS Cleveland camp, fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. And the spirit moved me to do this video. Um, I know a few brothers did videos on it, but um, got a, a RT app and um, you know, I got a headline U.S. unemployment sh shatters record surpassing 3 million claims. And you know, the spirit was on me to do a video because brothers was just. You know, with each other yesterday, and um, you know, like I don't know if this is it. You know, um, I've heard brothers give their opinions and whatnot. I don't know if this is it, but I do know this is something. Um, at the end of the day, you know, I'm not no financial expert or anything, but you know, we are called to be watchmen. Um, you know, it's multiple scriptures about being a watchman. You know, and the thing I'm not going to get any, but the point is, I'm. I'm, I'm like other brothers. I'm following a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And the thing is, you know, when, like, I, I, I want to say I was listening to the brother from um, Men of Valor. And he, um, I think his channel is Stay in the Spirit 144. And he was basically like, a few brothers did a few videos, but I, I noticed the family of the word. It feels like the family of the word is coming because, you know, I, I, I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. And, you know, everything is systematic. So the, the Lord, you know. First, YouTube went on a little, you know, um, the persecution. They went after the Elder Apostles channels first. You know, me and I had a lot of subscribers and whatnot. And then, you know, now, like I said, with this whole lockdown coronavirus bullshit, you know, uh, it's, it's basically it's kind of hindering the word of the Lord. And rightly so, you know, I mean, that's a, like a beautiful thing because we know, you know, we know what's to come by the prophecies and, you know, watching and, you know, and, and following the script. So, uh, I call it bullshit because, like I said, at the end of the day, I've been following it here and there, and I was trying to explain to this two-third Jake, his dumb ass, he can't get it. Cause, and, you know, somebody had to break it down to me, like I said, he's up in age, he's 60. I know that for a fact. I don't know exactly how old, but I know he's in his 60s. And, you know, that's the thing about Jake. Jake can make jokes when they word. And instead of just admitting that they worry, they'll try and make jokes to try and pass the time. And, and, and you know, it's beautiful how the Most High put the spirit on, you know, them to do this because, you know, they took your bread and circus and all you can do is really face up to the fact that, damn, you know, um, at the end of the day, I know I'm jumping around a little bit to so, Salakia, so but, you know, trying to stay on topic. The thing is, like I was telling them, Ain't no way, no matter what happens, if, even if they trying to, like, cause I hear now they're doing some shit, some quantitative, quantitative easing to affinity, meaning they're just going to keep trying to throw money on it. But any financial expert would tell you that's not really possible. You know what I mean? Um, like I say, um, if you've known anything about any other fiat currencies, um, you'll find out that, like I say, you know, that doesn't really solve anything. Mexico went through that. That's why the peso, it takes so many pesos to equal up to a dollar and shit, you know what I mean? Printing more money doesn't solve this. Um, you know, then it's showing the greed of the fact that, um, you know, this bailout, 
like um, I've heard a few different financial experts mention that they like it's like it's they're giving a bailout and giving the taxpayers a couple of dollars to turn the other way. Why the greed of these fucking? That's how you know this place really is fucked up. Cause on top of all this. And the panic and people knowing paper money and whatnot. I mean, because financial experts, that's why you had certain people screaming gold, silver, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, for you to still try to get a piece, like the bailout is, isn't really even for the public that's hurting the most. You know, I was going to do a video about how, you know, um, the Senate and Congress was having trouble coming to an agreement while, you know, America's is a suffering. You know what I mean? Like, it's a few. You know, brothers throughout the camps that have been laid off. You know, uh, luckily I ain't been laid off, but spiritually I'm getting fucked with. So you know, what I mean, like I'm in jeopardy of some shit, losing my job. So you know, what I mean, at the end of the day, Lord willing, that doesn't take place because, like I said, what I was explaining to the brothers is, um, like I said, this. You know, you just ain't felt the effects of this, like this said, you know. This is around the whole country. He basically, you know, we don't produce too much stuff anymore, so it's a lot of service industries, industry jobs. And by making restaurants, it's like they purposely crashing. And, you know, I forgot who I was listening to, but they was like, you take the time and think about it. Who owns all the businesses in America? I mean, yeah, you got mom and pop shits and whatnot, but majority of major corporations is owned by the elites. So they're basically like crashing this on purpose. You know what I mean? And then just like another thing to show you how Wall Street is manipulated. Like they was talking about Wall Street bounced back a little bit even though with all the jobless claims. Ain't no way possible for this shit to be bounced back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I mean, like, even though the Fed, like, and then, come on, this is a federal bank that's in the business of making money by loaning you money. Why would they just keep on giving you money, talking about they just going to bail everybody out. You know, I heard the horror stories back in the day about how, basically, and that's why they're doing it the way they're doing it, you know what I mean? Like, you, when you take the time to think about it, they really, they show you how really sheeple people are. You got people really stuck in their house, scared, and, and like the brother was going into, he's like, so which one is it? And like I said, I, I, I tell brothers, I believe the same thing, because you got that um, shelter in place, or stay at home, shelter in place um, order, but then you got essential jobs. But I know guys that work at restaurants, that's not an essential job. You get what I'm saying? And he told me they boom, so they just show you the insanity of this fucking place. Now, the type of job I got, they got military contracts and shit. They, well, I ain't gonna say that, they got government contract. But, you know, so I can see that being a little bit more essential. Construction and certain jobs are it's more, a little bit more essential. But, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I forgot where did he breed it at. I think I want to say in New York, like basically, because a lot of people was not really biting on the shelter in place. I mean, like, how are you gonna tell me I can't take care of my family when y'all ain't even? They don't even know when they're gonna send you this money. You know what I mean? I'm hearing it's supposed to be a digital dollar. Then they took the paperwork out and the, the uh, wording and changed the wording. So you know what I mean? I ain't saying that. I mean, you know, I did a video. You know, I do know that with ID 2020 is with the vaccines. And then, like I said, you talk to all these stupid as Americans. It's some kind of way they think they got fucking rights. You, you, they telling you to stay in your house and you doing it. How the fuck you got rights, you dummy? You know? So lucky, you though. That's eight minutes of rant. Because it, it, it really pisses you off. I heard a dumbass two-third tell me this going to be the year. Because Amazon letting you work and they paying certain people more money and all this whole stupid shit. And I'm looking like, do you realize how much money is being put into the economy every day? Do you realize how many... Fu this is going to be the best year, but it just says this. U.S. unemployment shatters record surpassing 3 million claims. This, that's a fund that... Allocated from like government funds and you know what I mean, like your tax dollars and shit like that. If people not working, how the fuck you think that's gonna sustain all the people that's trying to you know, take advantage of it? This system about to crack. And like I say, even if it don't crack tomorrow or next week, 
You know what I mean? Damage fucking done. You know what I'm saying? Even if he was the lifter, to show you how full of shit this corona shit is for real. And I'm just I just be shaking my head looking at people. You got people really nervous about this shit. The shit's so fucking dangerous, but China opened them back the major city that was fucked up. He's talking about opening up the fucking country again. So which one is it? Then I tell people one simple fucking thing. This thing where they ain't got no fucking medicine to help you fight this shit, people are healing from this. And then you don't even know, like, I, I mean, I actually look shit up. Like, they said doctors ain't even fucking, like, they don't even have a test to test you for it. So they still diagnose some people with this shit. You got people dying from shit and then come to find out they not even dying from the corona. So, I mean, like, this shit is just, like I said, to show you the stupidity of people. And, and, and I was just watching something that George Carlin said. You, he said people will give away more and more of their freedom to feel more and more safe in a place that's not safe. Like, that's some retarded ass shit. These people going to beg for the chip by the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. They going to be begging for the chip. Like, you see, and the, the way they did it is so systematic. He shut down the government. You had motherfuckers begging, please let us go back to work. Please. Mr. Trump opened it up. Please. Now nah, look at this shit. This probably was about to be inevitable. You got people so stupid, they trust this cracker. This is the same cracker just shut the fucking government down. But then now they trust him because he talking about giving every American money. But if your dumb ass read the fucking, like the legislation, everybody ain't getting no fucking money. So lock you. That shit just like what pissing me off though. I don't think I need to break down the scripture, but I'm going to go to it real quick and then I'm going to read the article. I got probably one more. Let me just show you the greed. Let me get that scripture real quick. Real quick, though, uh, the greed of, because like I said, when you go, it's like another corporate bailout thing like 2008, you know what I mean? Then they talking about companies that wasn't fucked up is begging for money, too. So it's like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, and that's, the, that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, First Timothy 6 and, um, I think it's 10. First Timothy 6, and I'm going to start at verse 6. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. Verse 9, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Verse 10, for the love of money is the root of all evil. While some covet it after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. A lot of people are going to like to say, just to show you the stupidity of it, like I say, you're hearing about the corporate greed already. But then in the midst of this shit, like I was just watching a video, I forgot who made it. No, it's a guy I listened to, he sounded like an Edomite, but you know he bring out some interesting information. I think it's trying to call a, a call for an uprising. He was saying through the midst of all this shit, Corona's so dangerous. These motherfuckers just passed some legislation for five G. So in the time of all that, and oh, we got to do this and quarantine and send ventilators and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Come on, like they were saying. When you take time to think about it, we live in America. It's supposed to be the freest, wealthiest, richest place in the world. You can't even come up with fucking ventilators. Like, huh? Like, you people going to wake up and be like, damn, I feel stupid. And that's in the scripture. So, like, yeah, like I said, because I, I ain't trying to make this video that long. It just really pissed me off. Because, like I said, it's like, and, and, and it tells you in 1 Corinthians about through the foolishness of preaching, it, it pleased the most high um, to save those, roughly paraphrasing. I'm, I'm going to find it real quick because I don't want to butcher it. It, so, because it is lightweight, um, frustrating, but at the same time, you have to be able to understand that everybody's not gonna get this. That's what got people buck up to. Like, I had a dude sit up there and try and tell me something about Christmas, and the kid's supposed to get something. So in his mind, he think that's a righteous fucking thing because you buying something for some fucking kids. But the Bible literally tell you not to participate in Christmas. That show you how motherfuckers don't read the Bible. It literally tells you blesses those that read. 
I mean, you, people so fucking lazy, they waiting for somebody to interpret for, go to church and, oh yeah, you told me a good word and you, you talk real charismatic so I feel good. Now I can go back and do the shit I was doing. When It, it tell you when you repent, you're supposed to turn back from. That means you ain't supposed to keep on re fucking sinning. Like once you figure out that you doing something wrong, you're supposed to turn away from it and don't be sinning no more. You get what I'm saying? Not here, though. They don't teach you that. They teach you, oh, yeah, God loves you. Yeah, that white fucking piece of shit-ass faggot guy that they talking about that's going to sit up there, people going to be calling on, and this motherfucker go, <laughs> you going to look stupid. Motherfuckers will be, when they when they in the room with, because these motherfuckers ain't talking about we going to give you monthly checks like certain fucking countries. They ain't talking about giving you a, like a once or twice, like a couple thousand dollars, which ain't no fucking money. By the time... That shit come, you gonna need that to pay towards bills. You got dumb ass niggas talking about they can't wait to get the money. They gonna go get the pack. They gonna do all this old dumb ass shit. When man, <laughs> like I said, you got other countries. They actually suspended rent, bills, utilities. He didn't do all that. And even he said you can't do certain shit, but he ain't enforcing it. The most he said he was going to do was motherfucking, they was talking about trying to basically suspend student loan interest. They, I heard, man, these people full of shit. And like I said, you're going to see how full of shit they is when, when, because like I say, I always bring out that scripture in Psalms 118 and 8, um, don't put your confidence in man. It's better to trust in the Lord than put your confidence in man or put your confidence in princes. Because at the end of the day, these people you look up to, you're going to be like, damn, like, like I said, in my opinion, I think it was already coming. It's too much came out of the blue. Like, out of the blue, just everybody in the fucking world gets sick. Like, come on. I know the Lord controlled pestilences, and, and it's probably the Lord using this fucking demon as a, you know, he, as his left hand. But at the same time, that's like, that was some. Then, like I say, if you go research anything, you got all these CEOs that just step down. Like Bill Gates, after making all this fucking money, becoming a fucking what is he like a, a hundred worth a hundred billion or something? He just stepped down. You know what I mean? When you got a monopoly on a whole technology thing, like you gonna always make money on fucking Microsoft, but you just step down. Like fuck out of here, man. So lock you. First Corinthians one and twenty one. For after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh, the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh, because the wisdom of this world is foolishness. What the fuck you think wise or the people y'all look up to is fucking idiots. I was watching Tyler Perry faggot ass sit up there talking about, oh yeah, I want the celebrities and people to sing this. Um, he got the whole world in his hand. But this bitch ass nigga dressing up in girl clothes, cross dressing. He dressed, he got money to go get any talented woman to play Medea. He chose to dress it and motherfuckers think that shit funny. But did you know his laws in the Bible that pertain to not cross dress? Did you know that in slavery they took a man, a, a so called black man, and put him in a dress to fucking belittle him? Why motherfuckers think they know some shit though? And then you got niggas that'll wear a dress for some fucking money. Stupid ass. And these are people y'all look up to though. That's why, like I said, it tell you in um, Proverbs, I think, 11, that um, richest profit not in the day of wrath. You know what I'm saying? These people with this little money, like I'm hearing people tomorrow, oh, yeah, we gonna motherfucking. See, the thing is, what they about to do is they about to reset this shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, this ain't just America trying to come up with a cryptocurrency and all this shit. It's all the countries. That's why it's not just America locking down the citizens. It's all countries locking down the citizens. Like, America just ain't flat foot came in there like, you got to motherfucking go lock it. Because they know motherfuckers got guns here and shit like that. But wait till they get it in place. You're going to see that you been trusting the devil was to your detriment, dummy. It says, it pleased you how about the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe so at the end of the day you know it's it, it may look like foolishness but it pleased your holly you know what i mean at the end of the day so that's why i do get frustrated trying to tell you people the same shit over and over but like i said at the end of the day that's how you know it's a spiritual thing though like i said i try to tell this dude i said listen when you go through the number of cases uh like they got you so i, t I told him something simple i said man listen the media are hyping it up. What do you mean the media are hyping it up? Because if they telling you all these people got this shit, but they not telling you that people curing from it and healing from it, and they ain't came up with no fucking antidote, then you don't think they hyping this shit up? Like, the fuck is you talking about? 
So, Lucky, this is, um, I, I, this, I'm going to have to probably put various topics because I jumped around a lot. That's the spirit led me that way, though. It says, the U.S. Labor Department reported on Thursday, that's today, a record number of jobless claims which surged to 3.28 million. The number shatters the Great Recession peak of 665,000 in March 2009 and the all-time mark of 600. 95,000 in October 1982. And if you ever really go really follow the system and any want to want to look anything up, when they came up with this fiat currency shit, it's always been debt. I mean like it might not be like like how it was the great recession, but it, like I think like in the 70s, you know what I mean, they went through like some kind of like wave recession in the 80s. It's like every 7 years or something. That's why you had one in 2000 um like around 2000 um what was that 2008 and then you like say it. Well, I, I forget. It, it's like a it's, a it's a number pattern to it. Like you and you got it now. Two thousand because the last major one I think they said started in two thousand seven. So it was like every seven fucking years. Two thousand seven. Then it was like two thousand fourteen. And then like it, it would have been two thousand twenty one, but it came like it's a little bit quicker than that. But like I said, the way that they do it, they did it was really ingenious. Because like I said, he didn't really want to take that blow on the head. Of everybody being fucked up around the time while he's trying to get reelected. Although people fail to realize, like, he's a, created a state of emergency. He ain't really even bought a reelection now. Like, the fuck? Like, it says the surge in unemployment comes amid a global economic slowdown caused by the coronavirus pandemic as businesses across the U.S. are on lockdown in an effort to contain the outbreak. The number of claims is much worse than expected as economists surveyed by Dow Jones projected 1.5 million new claims. Individual forecasts on Wall Street anticipated a much higher number. According to statistics, the four-week moving average which smooths out weekly distortions was 1,731,000. That is an increase of 27,500 from the previous week's revised average. Prior to the pandemic, which has forced many businesses to shut down, initial claims have been around the low 200,000 each week, reflecting a strong job market. So at the end of the day, and it really wasn't, it was, but it wasn't because it was because he came up with them little like app-based jobs like Uber and all that little stupid shit. But like this shit, and the thing is, like what people don't realize is like I was watching um the man Money GPS, he said that. Basically, it's like 47,000 job, I mean, company, like, chain store closes based off of just this shit. Now, the year before, prior, you already had businesses closing. Like, y'all forget, I, I live in Cleveland. I go to Tower City. You had McDonald's and shit like that that's name brand. The shit was closing already. You know what I'm saying? That, that, so how the fuck is this? That's how you know that the fucking stock market is manipulated. Like, how the fuck is shit closing, but it's just jobs is, you know what I mean? Like, if you can't see this shit, you got to be really retarded or the Lord really don't like you. I mean, motherfuckers uh, tell themselves anything to want to, but you, but what you going to say when they really, these people going to literally do some shit that's going to have you really fucked up. To show you how stupid these motherfucking people are, they literally sitting in the house. You got people talking about, no, I don't want to talk to you and we can't conduct any business because <laughs> you got we, we, for COVID. Now, mind you, they talking about the money dirty and the money going, like, yada, 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 the money get you sick. Yeah, they're still, they're still exchanging fucking money. So when they come with this fucking chip, which is in this whole, they talking about a digital dollar and a digital wallet that's in this whole bill that just passed. They put it in there, then they took it out, and then you, if you go, because it was two acts that was passed. I forgot which act is still mentioned in. Uh, they say that this digital dollar was mentioned like 35 times, though. At the end of the day, now I don't know how they're going to do it, like I say, at the end of the day, but I do know that, like I said, ID2020 with Bill Gates and these other tech companies is talking about basically chipping everybody through a vaccine. Just like with this blockchain. I mean, if, the things I'm mentioning, people probably don't even fucking understand. Like blockchain technology, none of that. You know what I mean? Like Cleveland was on board with that shit. You got to remember, Cleveland has a Federal Reserve fucking bank, man. Like, you didn't think that... That's why I wasn't surprised when they was talking about locking this bitch down. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, yeah, they ain't. But then, like I said, to show you how the stupidity of it and how people don't take the time to use no fucking brain cells, how the fuck is working at Pizza Hut an essential job? Like, you allowed to go to the, the grocery store. So, you that ain't essential. For you to go out and eat ain't essential. Go, go buy or have somebody. And then to show you how stupid motherfuckers is, they worried about you talking to them, giving you COVID-19 or Corona, whatever the fuck you want to call it this week. But then, yet still, though, you will buy. Like, he, one of my brothers was telling me about how the bitch got bad because he didn't. Uh, he had to knock on the door. Because he's like, lady, I know you wanted me to leave it on the, on the porch. But at the same time, I need you to sign this receipt. So he says she highly pissed. But I'm thinking to myself, like, this bitch thinking she outsmarting something by having you leave it on the porch. But you just made the food. If you got it, you got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just dumb, though. Like, like Elder Michael was saying, it's like the dumbest motherfuckers. That, like, these high IQs. You went through all this indoctrination to be having no fucking common sense. That way your dumb ass is sitting in the house when literally, like I said, and the thing is, though, like I say, I mean, I already kind of figured that, too, because, like I say, you got a dude that actually got a charge with breaking the order, but he was doing some other shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be used to the discretion of the, the law enforcement, you know what I'm saying? Like, but yet still, they going to they gonna enforce that shit, but they not going to enforce motherfuckers selling drugs. They, they, do you know that they not even arresting people for certain shit? Like, that, that. <laughs> Salaki, it says economists say that the U.S. economy could fall into a recession in the second quarter before recovering later this year after the spread of coronavirus slows. Now, the thing is, no matter how much these people are telling y'all that y'all want to believe that shit, this shit's never going to recover. Because basically, what the Fed said they're going to do is basically, like I was just talking to this old stupid ass nigga tomorrow, they could just print more money. You don't have any idea how money works, but you mad at me because I don't agree with what the fuck you saying. I say, man, listen. I told him he was right just to shut him up. He he every day he keep on want to explain it to me. He want to laugh it off. Yo, dumb ass be the same one take a chip or whatever the fuck it is. Give it to me because that's gonna save me. Like you dumb motherfucker. Like the the cure is gonna wait. The, the cure gonna be you don't even know what the fuck. They, listen, I know this much. Anytime they come up with vaccines and shit, that shit gotta be tested and shit. You know what I mean? You got to get, like, human... You got to do animal testing. You got to do human testing. How the fuck you just... He, and then, like I said, I heard him say it at least a couple times. Oh, yeah, we coming up with a vaccine. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers sitting there talking about because the, uh, uh, a celebrity said he got... Or he got tested for it. That mean that that's true. Like, you stupid motherfucker. You really... I used to watch how, um... You know, you had these, like, um... Like, when, when the shit happened down south with the, um... Hurricanes and they was trying to raise funds. You would have millionaires like Oprah, little funny looking ass, and that bitch Cher was on there, and they tell them telling you to donate money to for the disaster relief, right? These motherfuckers alone was worth like millions of dollars, right? Oprah, a fucking billionaire, but they telling you to give up your little money, <laughs> and motherfuckers were doing that shit, like. So you really think? First of all, that's just like anybody that worked for like the government, police officers, fucking superstars in this society. They are for this system. Why the fuck would you believe anything they say? They get a whole look, man. People don't. Uh, I'm gonna read this last statement. There's going to be a lot of hardship for a lot of people and that's the truth they're showing you that because these motherfuckers ain't even give you a definite answer on when you're gonna get this fucking this money because the money ain't really for you the money is for these fucking um fucking um companies but the thing is no matter what how much money they keep printing like i say all that's gonna do is cause hyperinflation all that's gonna do is make the dollar worse and and less of, of less value and then guess what's gonna happen you gonna be paying more dollars for shit that you need. Then by the time you up there starving and, and all kind of crazy shit happening, whenever the solution they come with, if it's a chip, a digital dollar, whatever the fuck, you gonna be like, yeah, I take it. You know what I'm saying? Like most niggas do, with because they ain't gonna have no faith. People don't. They believe they God. But you know they they don't believe it in the most high power. They believe they God. They uh, I'm God. You know what I mean? This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 18. It says, The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And who is those powers? You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, I noticed something. The 
powers is these people in control, these elites. You know, I noticed something. All this shit kicked off when that when when, when they broke down that whole little um they, they they was watching on the satellites and saw that that gigantic um chariot coming. Then right after that, it just seemed like this pandemic came out and China had Corona. And then what's the name of Corona? I I thought America did it on purpose because you gotta remember when you coming from out of the country or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go through different little shit. They just so happened to have people screened and supposed to have them stopped. But then just so happened these same people was allowed to get into the miracle. You know what I mean? Then he played around. Oh, it's just a flu. It's not no big deal. And now you got, I mean, do you, do you realize they sitting up here saying that this could be the next next epicenter? China was the epicenter because they supposed to had like, the worst outbreak. It was China. Then it was Italy. Now they saying that America is, is supposed to be the next epicenter. Because you got like 30,000 cases of this shit in, in New York. With, 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 how many ventilators he say? With, with 40, with 400 or some shit like that. Like, so, I mean, like this shit, I mean, it's kind of laughable to a certain extent. But it's, it, I mean, it ain't terrifying because at the end of the day, I, I mean, you know, any man that's believing the truth... He know that these things are supposed to happen. You know, we didn't probably get it like that, but we knew pestilence was going to come. You know what I mean? I mean, people probably don't even know the fact that the coronavirus is supposed to morph like three times. It's supposed to be a new virus out in China. You know what I'm saying? Even though they talking about opening up the fucking borders to the city that's supposed to Wuhan. So, I mean, like, the thing is, I know this much from being in the truth. Uh, you can't believe no fucking, um, like, like, like mass media. You got to go. That's why... YouTube was so cold because you would get information from people that didn't have nothing to gain from it. You know what I mean? They just were reporting the truth. You know what I mean? It says, uh, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish. And famine is coming. You know what I mean? Like say at the end of the day, they already talking about rationing food. Why the fuck you think the National Guard down here helping with the food banks? So where do you think that National Guard, what do you think he did with the 50 billion that Congress gave him off the drill? Congress gave him fifty billion, and then he said, "I only asked for eight. They gave him fifty billion. What do you think they're gonna do with that money? Did they went ahead and approved the, 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 you know, what I mean, the four trillion or whatever the fuck? But like I said, this shit, if you actually read into it and just assuming you're supposed to get something, it's like I said, at the end of you a peon. Yeah, like I said, yo dumb ass elect these people. Y'all go vote for these people. These people don't give a fuck about you. At the end of the day, you might not. It'll be like two thousand eight. People didn't get nothing. The corporations did." Now they got to give you something because the economy said, when the last time have you seen gas at a dollar fucking 50, man? Tell me that one, though. And you think something normal, though? It says, behold, famine, which is coming. Because like I said, I've been to these grocery stores in the hood. And, you know, Jake is always the last one to come. Like I said, now they talking about, I forgot what state that was or what country they was talking about. Basically, the government. No, that was in, I think, a certain state. I think he said the UK, though. He was saying that basically the government is basically um, telling you, basically um, rationing, saying you can only have so much of this when you go shopping. You only can have so much of that because people have been doing all the food hoarding on some stupid shit. But like I say, at the end of the day, it tell you, um, you know, you ain't supposed to uh, trust in, um, you, I mean, the, the, what you're supposed to really have your trust in is in the Lord because at the end of the day, you know, you don't even know where you're going to be at in the day when the shit hit the fan. You could be buying all this shit for your house or apartment, whatever the fuck you got. Your little underground bunker and the lower how you out and about when the shit go down like off of, uh, what was that shit called? Uh, with Brad Pitt? Where, where the zombie shit happened? Yeah, they just outside and shit. shit motherfuckers just, or like uh, Dawn of the Dead with... You know, they in the house and just next to you, know, motherfuckers just start going crazy. So, you can't put your trust in, in, in no cardinal shit. You know what I mean? It says, uh, and tribulation coming now. Like I said, people are hurting. You know what I mean? People's already doing bad. People, you already had Americans living paycheck to paycheck. What about the people that just lost jobs? And then a lot of people that lost jobs, they lost little service, fast food restaurant jobs. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you had some people that made pretty good money, might have worked at good restaurants or five-star restaurants where they was a chef. But the one brother from Chicago, which I could see them making a little bit of money, Chicago's a big city and whatnot, but he was like, shit, the way that they got it set up, it's only four people allowed to work 
So like out of one day, they, he said he went from 40, day, 40 hours a week to one day. You know what I'm saying? How you fuck are you going to live off of one day? It says, but for all these things, they shall turn from their wickedness. It's lucky. It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. And they not. You ain't got people sitting up there asking or even worried about the most high. When Donald Trump bitch ass sit up there and said that about giving y'all possibly some money, you had niggas sit up there and make Facebook live videos to myself. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to like Trump. And when you take the time to think about it, it's pretty ingenious because as much as these niggas so in love with Obama, Obama didn't give you no money. He gave you a phone. And he kept unemployment going, but not for you. He kept it for them Edomites. Like the fuck? It says, um, Behold, visuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sore famine, and great confusion. And like I said, at the end of the day, when is the last time you remember gas being a dollar fifty? I mean, I seen it in a dollar thirty nine. Did you know what I'm saying? You got cheap food right now, you know what I mean? But did like say, you know, you got these um like it's an Elamite store. They might be Elam or they Ishmael. I thought they was Elam though. But um, they got a store, you know, in, in, in our city. It's a few of them in certain areas. They always got them, of course, in Jake neighborhood. And I watched them. It was when Jake started really like, let me go ahead and stock up. They buy food. They at the grocery store. I've never seen this bitch cleaned out. They cleaned that shit out, right? So I'm like, damn. So then when I go in there the next day, the shit that like they, they they usually had cheap meat and shit. Like you know you might have um cube beef that you can make for stew and shit like that. You might find a nice little pack for two fifty three dollars. That shit was like eight dollars. So you know of course these other nations gonna take advantage of you. You know what I mean? That's why they they set up shop in in, in Jake neighborhoods. They, I read a book called Think and Grow Rich. You know what I mean? It's one by Edomite and it's one by Jake. And it literally tells you that we are the biggest consumers and we have the least amount of money. Behold, visuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves in, to be a good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sore famine and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. And at the end, they like I said, a lot of people is about to suffer. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, if you can't see that, well, but I mean, but the but the way that America breeds Americans, these Americans, these dumbass Americans that they they breed you to be all about you know. Look, this whole fucking shelter in place, stay stay inside your house, don't go out unless you got an essential job. What do you people already in America are all about themselves? What do you think this is doing with this whole six feet away type shit? I had a bitch just tell me, don't walk up until I call you. I'm looking like, bitch, that's about the dumbest shit in the world. I can see y'all not giving out cash. I can see a certain thing, like now they want to clean the 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 the, the, the uh like I, I just was in um uh, fucking Audis, right? And Audis look like they just hired like 20 motherfucking new people. It's tell you they hiring. And they got these people. They're not working or stocking. They just cleaning the store. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, at the end of the day. But it's funny, though. Have you ever looked at Lysol? Lysol tells you it kills COVID. <laughs> the coronavirus. So, you know what I mean? You show this shit was, wasn't made up. So, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory. Call hello, Allah, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushah. That's I'm Dumble honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akin around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth for faith and security, risking the lives of freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwa, the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, this edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad um, in the land of the heathen, looking like the heathen, but subscribing to this truth to you. I say Shalom. Lord willing, I'm able to do another lesson. Um, Till next time, shalom, shalom, the barber boy.